This is a short video to show some of the new features that were implemented in version 3.0 of the PowerPoint inking toolbar. The basic features of this program were described in a previous video about version 2.4 and you can find a link in the description below this video. Most of the new features included in version 3.0 of the PowerPoint inking toolbar are the result of requests by users of the program. The two most requested features were to include a second independent toolbar and also to provide instructions for the program. These two features have been included in version 3.0 of the program along with many other new functionalities. For the instructions, when you first run the program, you will be prompted to read the instructions. Alternatively, you can always access the instructions by going to the menu and under toolbar options you will find the toolbar instructions. Sections that are included in these instructions include how to use the program, how to customize the toolbars, how to use the second toolbar, the available buttons, other settings that can be customized, how to customize the menus, how to set hotkeys for the toolbars functions, how to use your own icons for the toolbar buttons, and how to uninstall the program. Since the last version of the program, the most requested feature by users was the inclusion of a second toolbar. So in this new version, there is now a second toolbar that can be completely customized independently of the first main toolbar. By default, this second toolbar is a navigation toolbar and it can be accessed by going to the menu and selecting Show Hide the Second Toolbar. In this default configuration, there are many functions that will allow you to navigate the PowerPoint presentation very efficiently. For example, there are the previous and next slide buttons right here. You can also go to the first slide and you can go to the last slide. One quick way to navigate to a slide is to use the numbers that are available in the default configuration of this second toolbar. For example, if you wanted to go directly to slide number 12, you can just punch in 12 and then hit enter and you'll move directly to slide 12. A pretty neat button that's available in this program is a button that allows you to go back to the previously visited slide so that you can alternate very quickly between two slides that are far apart in the slideshow. Another if very efficient way to navigate between slides is to use the slide sorter button. When you hit that button, it's going to show all the slides that are available, and then you can just click on the slide to directly navigate to it. Shown here are the default configurations of the two toolbars, but again, these two toolbars can be completely customized independently. Here's an example of a very different configurations of the two toolbars, which I'm going to use to illustrate some of the new functions of the program. In this example, the first toolbar has been set to be vertical and includes several different buttons that are not available in the default configuration of the program. There is here a button that allows us to show the second toolbar, which I've set up to be an annotation toolbar where I have different colors for the pen that are available right at the bottom. And then there's the highlighter, the eraser, the erase all, and the show hide all ink. For example, with this second toolbar, you could very quickly annotate the slide. And then if you were to find that you needed more space to annotate the same slide, you could use the new button that creates a copy of the current slide which will give you more space to annotate on the same slide. As you can see, this slide was created as a copy of the previous one. It gives you more space to annotate during a slideshow. When you are annotating slides during a slideshow using this program, there are a few features that allow you to remove some of the annotations. 
So for example, there is a show hide button that you can use your toolbar that allows you to quickly toggle on and off the annotation that you've written. You can also use the eraser to erase some of the inkings, or if you want to erase all of the inkings, you can use the erase all button. Another very cool button that was added in version 3.0 is a button that allows you to reset the animations on the slide. For example, if you have a slide that contains some pretty complex animations, and after showing these animations, you would like to replay them. You can just go and hit the Reset Slide button. And you're going to be able to replay the animations again. Another neat function of this toolbar is that through the settings, you can set it to disappear when another program is active and automatically appear when the PowerPoint slideshow is active again. For example, I can go in the toolbar menu, choose toolbar options, and then choose toggle toolbar auto hide. And then I can use some of the other button. For example, I could hit the alt tab button, which gives me a list of the open windows, and then I can quickly switch to a different window. And as you can see, the toolbar automatically disappeared. Then if I go back to the slideshow, the toolbar will appear automatically. If I want to switch to another program, I can also use the Show Taskbar button and then move on to a different window. Again, the toolbar automatically disappears, but when I go back to the slideshow, it appears again. There are many other buttons that are available to put on the two toolbars in this program. Their descriptions are available in the instructions that are included in this version 3.0. Since the switch to online teaching, a common request was to add support when PowerPoint is in Windows mode. So for example, in this modified toolbar, I've included a button that allows you to directly start the slideshow in Windows mode, which will also allow you to use the pens of different colors even in Windows. So the inclusion of a second independent toolbar opens up many possibilities. Here's a quick example where if you don't like to see the toolbar on the screen, you could set the first toolbar to be a very tiny button and then when you press it, it shows the second toolbar that has all the functionalities that you want. And when you press it again, it hides this second toolbar. This was just a short video to show you some of the new features in version 3.0 of the PowerPoint inking toolbar. If you're interested in using it, you can go to my website and download it. If you want to know more about the basic functionalities of the program, including the functionalities of the free PowerPoint add-in, you can follow the link in the description below to the video that describes the features of version 2.4 of the PowerPoint inking toolbar. Don't hesitate to leave comments if you are using this program or you have requests for features. And you can always contact me by email if you encounter any difficulties or have suggestions. My email is available on the download website.